right here
I hope this goes well. <laughs> Oh yeah, like nothing. And I was all concerned. Chasing the goose. I've made it to the end of the Petawawa, or this section of the Petawawa River. I am now in Little Misty Lake. With a headwind. It's slowing me down a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, man. Oh. Not very excited to cross Misty Lake. I'm only on Little Misty Lake. These things, the goo energy gels, that's what keeps you going. Got amino acids, and sodium, caffeine, all natural organic sugars. And there's like sodium citrate, but I mean like sodium salt and citrate, that's you know like orange juice and stuff, right? So, but yeah, these things are great two bucks each or something it's like same price a cup of coffee right so you think a couple of these per day for a hiking trip or a canoeing trip I mean it's just it's just gel yeah slurp it up keep it going it's been almost four hours it took me an hour and a half to get from that one portage down the river across Little Misty Lake to here. Then I got to portage this kilometer and then paddle five or six kilometers across Misty Lake against the wind, probably. I, cr I crushed that portage. 
no problem. It was tough. Wind's already pushing my canoe around. It's not even in the water. Ow. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be a minute. <laughs> I'm taking a break. I'm at Misty Lake and it's been 4 hours and 16, 17 minutes. So, basically call it 4 hours, a bit over 4 hours to get to Misty Lake from access. It's pretty good if you're asking me, being solo. For anyone who may have noticed, I wasn't wearing a life jacket earlier on the smaller lakes. This lake's a bit bigger by a lot. Do I have my life jacket on now? Just the only one who thinks, oh, this guy's not wearing a life jacket, it doesn't matter. They go, oh, no, when you're on bigger bodies of water, when the water is this cold, it does matter. As much as you don't want to wear life jackets, one day it'll save your life. Getting some muscle cramps already in my shoulders. I'm gonna stop at this little island here, get a drink, and bring a bottle back here with me. Probably the last chance I have to really stop like this for a while. I made the right call, put my rain gear on. It's starting to rain. Making great time. In 40 minutes, I'm probably two thirds of the way across Misty Lake. About past the big open part. It wasn't really that windy. Didn't really bother filming it, it was just me paddling. Nothing really happened. Now that it's in a channel again, it's getting windier. It's kind of ironic, but whatever. I see some canoes up there. I really hope that's the guys. Oh, my back hurts. <laughs> Paddled all the way to this side of the friggin' lake. <laughs> The canoe I was hoping was my friend's is my friend, but the campsite is back there 40 minutes ago. <laughs> We're going fishing now. <laughs> oh yeah, and it took me five five and a half hours to get to where the guys were having their break here. You made pretty good time though. Yeah, we yeah, you made good time. We thought you were gonna be what time did you leave? I left I left access uh, shortly after seven. I got, I got here in five and a half hours. What did we do? We left at like 9.30. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah I got. I, I took the family for a drive last night to Kearney and uh, the canoe place was nice enough to let me take the canoe last night with no extra charge. Oh yeah? Yeah, so it was nice. I was I left home at like 5 this morning. Oh yeah, so you already had the canoe, eh? Yeah. Right on. Yeah, we were actually going to go down there though, check the falls out, see if we can't get into Timberwolf. Well, buddy was saying, it. I didn't hear exactly what he said, but it was like it doesn't look like there's good fishing or something. But then he was catching brook trout. Yeah, well, yeah. That's what the other guy was saying. He was like every two, three casts, he was catching something. Oh yeah. Decent size too, like up to 15 inches. Oh nice. So that's. I assume this narrows up here it must be the narrowest to Misty Forks. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're going to the end of Misty Forks, right? Yeah, right at there. Ah. Okay. So Jason, Dylan, and I are still going to the far end of Misty Lake as I had planned. There's that small little detour I had where I. Yeah, small little detour we had there. Uh, said hi and met up, but they wanted to go to the far end to go fishing, and I wanted to go to the far end to see how long it took me to get there from access. So that challenge will still be posted. Oh, this wind is just beating me up out here. Starting to wear out. I need some calories. Oh, bad. We're coming up to the portage at the end of Misty Lake. Oh, it's a long haul. Right from access right to the very end of Misty Lake. Just for fun too, there's no campsite here. We just came here to go fishing and see how long it took me. Camp is at the other end of the lake. Back where I passed. That one canoe that was on the rock. The very first canoe I saw on the lake. Is there my campsite is. A little bit ironic, but I'm out here for exercise anyways. Oh buddy. <laughs> yeah, cool. Dirty old saw blade too, yeah, two of them. Two of them. All warped to shit. Right on. See those big cribs in the narrows back there? No, I didn't. No, no they're like like timbers full of logs making like cribs. Oh yeah? I didn't even see that shit. Not full of logs, I mean full of rocks, I mean sorry. Log timbers full of rocks. Oh yeah, so it's probably cribbing. Yeah, it looked just like cribbing. But anyways, here we are. How long did that take? Six hours and 16 minutes to get here from Munetawan Lake. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All by myself, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, 
my pack is basically in water there. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> I was like, oh, is there like a moose or something? Or like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nice, eh? <laughs> Walk, eh? We can take the portage here because uh, the falls are just around the corner here. Oh, nice. Portage follows it just to the side, like to follow it. Right on. So we could just hop off it whenever we hear it, you know? Yeah, yeah. You can almost kind of hear it. I thought I could hear. You hear a little white noise. Yeah. I guess. Right on. So I don't know how far we'd be able to make it from the corner. Yeah. How long? It arrows right up. It's only an 850. Like, yeah, I know, and it's not far here. I'll show you on the map. It's not far down the trail at all. Yeah, right on. So we're at the Bortage there. And there's the dam. Yeah. So It's not even up the whole hill. Like the highest part of this hill is 420 meters. And this part of the lake is 417. That it? dots the top of the hill. And then where's the, oh, right there. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's not far at all. Right on. I'd say like 200 meters down. Yeah. Right up. We'll eat here and then we'll grab the gear and pipe down. Yeah. Yeah, eh? Got holes through it. Oh, right through it, wow. That's probably sick as balls. Yeah. This sweet sour pork. Oh, yeah. Yep. But we've yet to catch a fish. Went out twice last night. Oh yeah. Went out this morning. We stopped at that one rock mm. at the campsite on the hill there. Yeah, yeah. Fishing there for a little bit. Mm. Wind just kept pushing us from now. Yeah, no doubt, man. That wind was pretty gusty for a while. This will be fun though. A little hike. I've never been on this portage before. No, me neither. I got a life straw too. We got tons of water back in the camp. No, I'm the only one who brought a water filter. Really? Yeah, Mitch doesn't have one still. What? What do you mean he doesn't? What do you mean he doesn't have one? Mitch doesn't have a water filter. I thought he had one before, and then he bought a gravity one. Yeah, actually. but he doesn't have. I don't. He didn't bring that one. Oh. Why would he not bring a water filter? I know, man. He should have one by now. It's been four years. Well, especially even that. Yeah, like, I mean, like both of them. They should. I don't know. <coughs> He's gonna need it. He wants to go on a solo. <coughs> oh yeah. <coughs> and also, like, what were to ha like, what would happen if, like, worst case scenario, something happened and the whole group got split up in some crazy friggin' storm and or like you're boiling water. 
drink. Yeah, I mean, which isn't horrible, but no, but it's a lot more. Like, that's four liters, a lot more gravity, depending man. upon yeah. your fire and shit too. Yeah, yeah. Like, and with the stove out, get that going. You can do that, but yeah, like I didn't filter this water, but I only needed two cups for a quick snack. But yeah, I don't know. And then you got four liters. That's tons of water. Yeah. And it's nice and cold. I like that for drinking water. Yeah. Some water you gotta let cool down before you go hiking. Nobody likes hot water while you're hiking through the woods. Hot, plain, old water. Yeah. No, that always sucks. Hey, God, this is my first cast. I want to use that rock. <laughs> Good size too. Look at this friggin' brook trout. Hey on, buddy. Oh yeah. I'm lost in his face up here. Okay, uh well, you hold my rod for me? Yeah, Thanks, bud. Shit, here we go. Oh you got him. Oh oh shit! <laughs> Can someone go get the chain? Yeah. Oh shit, he's gone. Oh we got him. Okay. okay. They're under the canoe in the okay. clock bag. I'll keep him alive till then. I should have brought my net here. My net's in my friggin' pack. Uh should I get my net? Yeah, you may as well. Shit. Okay. There he is, there he is. Oh. Oh, we can catch more. Go there, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get my net. Uh, I'll give you my pliers right away. Yeah, we weren't prepared for that. There's a good spot though. There's I see that. Okay, here you go. Uh, they float. Okay, cool. No problem. Yeah, eh? <laughs> I didn't Not even I didn't even see I was looking over here yeah, and I was like started going now, you learned. Oh. I don't know why I didn't grab my net and my chains in my bag to start with on my way over. I got over there, Jason's first catch catches that brook trout. Um, of course, since we don't have a net, no chains, he loses it because it's slippery. He swims away. He casts a second cast, catches another brook trip. The same thing happens. Look at this. It's like squared up like timber. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's notched out. Yeah, it is. Huh. Cool. It is cool. Oh, you got her stuck. Oh, I see. Shitty. Where does that portage come out, do you know? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh, you got one? No Can way. Oh, yeah. Huh. Right on. Got it? Yeah. Out. I see it now, but... <laughs> that was exciting. Where's your lure? It's in there now. I wanna go get it. Oh shitty. I'm gonna walk out there. You are actually? Yeah. Really? See how nice and cold it is. Dylan lost his lure and he wants to retrieve it. Oh, buddy, oh no! Oh, that must be cold. I, I would think so too. I didn't see my lure anymore, it's gone. Damn. Yeah, I 
don't know. I got snagged on that pile of shit over there. Oh, yeah. What? Do you hear like music coming from like the rocks in the river? Like little like as if there's like a party going on from like a house and you're outside of the house. I can hear that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she is moist out there, eh? Fire is still going pretty good, even though it's raining pretty hard, eh? Oh, I had a pretty good amount of coals in there. I've just been keeping on top of the steam right back up. Right on. Oh. <laughs> back at 100%. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to pick one of those. How is that possible? <laughs> Are you still going strong? <sighs> Come on, go fishing. <laughs> it's gonna be garbage. <laughs> You go straight down the dry part here. It's pretty, yeah, I've been like kind of stepping the rocks. Well, here. right now it's just dry though. Yeah. Cool. 
all the way. Oh, thanks, bud. Why? Is that your peak board, Huber? Oh, it might be actually. I think it's Huber. Oh, what was that? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, we can get out of your way here. We'll just pop in and hide right there for now. Okay. It's a tad dicey, eh? Just a tad dicey. Oh. Man, I cannot stay straight. The wind, the wind, the wind is just pushing me. I might need a tow rope. Straight up there. Okay. Yeah. Wind spun me broadside. Friggin' great. Oh, it's so brutal. The wind is so strong. I cannot turn the light for me. Even when I try to turn, it just it just won't turn. Ugh. Ugh. Give me a tow rope. Right. Talking to the camera. Saying I got a tow rope. Oh yeah, that is better. Woo! Moving.
Could you pull me out? Pull me out more? Okay. These waves pushing us. And these are big waves. <laughs> And watching the big work, eh? what? Like work, eh? Man, like watching the big waves like go towards like in between my canoe and your canoe is neat. Like, yeah, like if it feels cool having like the wave push you and like lift you up, eh? I know it's nice. Going back to the end of Misty Lake, do some fishing. Right. Give me time to have my beer. Yeah, right on, bud. I didn't want to have it out the top. Oh, yeah, no doubt. We'll do some fishing in the, in the Timberwolf Creek. Yeah. Let's watch that deadhead, eh? What's that? Like it's just like mist in I thought I felt some mist or something, yeah. No, it's nice out though. It's not it's not like actually raining. Yeah, it's not like hot and humid. It's not cold. That is nice. Yeah, get on to the river in Timberwolf. And then you follow the river a little. Oh. Since so you can't get through this with the canoe, right? Nice.
chased and found some wildlife. Oh yeah, oh, a little guy, eh? Little boy. Right on. Isn't that then cool? Mm hmm. Strong, eh? Yeah, they're strong. Huh. Alright, buddy. See you later. Wildlife. Wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go back to the Petawawa River now, on the far end of Misty. And uh, try fishing there again. How does it seem today? What? How does it seem today? Yeah. Back on Daisy Lake, I left the guys a while ago. I finished the one portage first. It stopped raining, thankfully. The wind calmed down. Mitch and Adam were at the other site on Daisy Lake. They wanted to go there at like lunch or something, so they found the site. And, but it's quarter after six. I got two hours of travel left to do before I get to the car. So I gotta get to the car before the sun goes down. See you there. Oh, just finished my second last portage. 420 something like that it's not that long but after a long day it's tiring i'm excited to get back to the car oh. i canoed all day in the rain and look out here blue skies now that i'm back at my car i got blue skies and no fish <laughs>